Okay, to start, let's see where we are here. Um, the arms animated. We've got a, a pole vector locator back here. We've got a nerve circle that's controlling my IK handle. And I've got a, a another nerve modified, if you will, nerve circle that lets me um, it's an orient constraint so that I can change or animate the um, wrist. Pole vector has a point constraint on it. So because it's a, uh, I'm sorry, not the pole vector, but the IK handle has a point constraint on it because it's only able to move um, in the translation X, Y, and Z axis. Okay, so first thing we want to do, if you look at this front window, notice that and maybe what I'll do is I'll change this panel to the outliner so you can see what we've got here. So this rig has the scapula that we did in the lab and the two get a little bigger so you can see better what I'm talking about. So we've got the scapula and the two uh, really stagnant or, or non-moving uh, joints for the uh, coracoid and glenoid fossa to anchor the heads of the bicep and then the humerus which is what we started with and right here is the rig or the bone or the joint rather at the top of the um, proximal end of the radius okay so I'm going to create a new joint and go under the rigging skeleton create joint and I'm going to put that joint out here um, if you will anterior and I guess really a little medial so what I want to do Let's zoom in a little bit. You can see where the insertion of the bicep on the bicep tuberosity here is, um, you know, this tension is coming straight down. And I want to try to avoid getting this muscle buried into the bone. So, you know, it tends to, when it's uh, skinned, it, it keeps diving into the humerus and the um, ulna and radius. So we're going to try to use this joint as a way of anchoring or influencing this part of the muscle to stay away from the bone or anterior to the bone when it flexes. So I want to make that part of the rig so it, it moves with it and everything. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to name this biceps tuberosity. And if I could type, and I'm going to middle mouse, I'm going to use the middle mouse and drag it on top of the radius. Okay, which now means, if you look carefully, there is a, a circle or a joint with a point or a pyramid pointing out towards, towards the, um, the joint we just made. So I'm going to just just to try to make this easier for you to see. I'm going to take the, um, the joint size and make it smaller here. So this is what we just made. This is the, the radius. And that's that direction. So you want to kind of get this pyramid with the base at the joint at the top of the hierarchy and the direction it's pointing to. So in this case, it's pointing to that joint. Okay, so that's a little far out, but I'm going to try to, you know, just gamble with it. I'm not sure what this one is. This is an extra joint that I must have created by accident, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, so that's our rig now. That's the, the setup that we're going to um, attach the muscle to.